to 2543. <laughs> I don't know the street name, <laughs> but come on. decent size not much of a great view but um yeah just bush <laughs> all right so that's about that and then walk through the kitchen i think that's probably it's probably gas And then right here you put the fridge, yes. And then you have the pine tree, it's okay. Not too big, so it's pretty dark. I don't know how much. Um, can you get a good view? And then this is the garage, can't see. They didn't even turn on the light yet. Sorry for that loud noise. And then the dishwasher is over here. Mm-hmm. But I cannot, like, where do you get this faucet from? This is so tiny. <laughs> Ooh, baby faucet. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna head upstairs. Oh. Let's hurry up before the rain starts coming. I've seen bigger masters than this. And then you have the two windows. You get a view of the road. All right, now I'm not to show too much of that. And then this is probably be with the bathroom or the closet. So this is the master closet. You get a lot of sunlight, which is a plus. You get a lot of shelves. So what do you guys think so far? Is it a nice home or is it too small? Comment down below. All right. Oh God. The bathroom is very tight. Can't really see. I don't know. One thing I've noticed, one thing I've noticed with the townhomes is like the ceilings are very low. I don't know why, but I feel like they should make it a little bit higher just in case, you know, somebody might be a little bit taller, you know, have visitors who come over and stuff like that. So 
I think that's a downfall of townhomes. Um, let's go through here. Have the laundry room. Mm. I think they provide their washer and dryer also. And this is another closet. This, this could be like the linen closet. And then another bathroom. This would be a full bathroom. This is another bedroom. It's a little bit tight, but it could work. And then we have a closet over here. I don't know. <laughs> it's very tight. But some people will make it work. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger than the one we just came from. As you can see. Yeah. It seems a little bit dark in here though. So, in total we counted is what one the master three so it's three bedroom and two and a half bath and so far i don't know about this plan i don't think it gives me that um that that look i'm looking for i'm more of a like as soon as i open my front door i like high ceiling and i like to you know have a chandelier and things like that but i think this is a bit too small and too compact but we're just gonna go downstairs maybe we can go see another layout and see how that works out all right so now i'm about to head next door let's walk around let's be safe i mean it's a decent area it's a quiet neighborhood but started but now they've made it you know a little bit more bigger to show them over there also um it's gonna go all the way to the back it's two um well no three exits it's three exit in the subdivision and so yeah come on let's take a look inside corner lot as you can see so we're gonna walk in you can tell like they just did a fresh paint job and they have a, a light right here but I will change that out and put a nice chandelier and then this is the closet oh no this is the garage this is the garage it's a two-car garage and as you go in, you have a small sitting area and all this window space right here, which brings a lot of sunlight, natural light. You know, you don't really have to turn on your light, you know, when you come downstairs, you know, save on the light bill. And you have this nice, beautiful kitchen. I love white cabinets, like this is so luxury. So yeah, I like I just like these, you know, these cabinets. It just gives me nice, luxurious, rich, and then it has the silent clothes. Yeah, so. Yep, and then you have the pantry over here. It's a little bit deeper than the one that we saw previous in the other subdivision. And what stands out with these what stands out with these cabinets is this 
the handles, the handles. I just like that look and it blends in with the backsplash. And then the faucet right here. Oh, Jesus. Some off. And a little water here. And then the window right here. And the dishwasher go right there. And then you go out into this nice backyard. You have your private space. Nobody is bothering you. You know, you just have the bush all the way up there. No trees are surrounding the house. You know, just in case a storm happened, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, no tree falling onto your house. So now we're going to go head upstairs. But what you guys think so far? Because I love it. I love this house. So let me know what you guys think and comment down below. All right. I want to make the right decision. All right. Now we're going to go get in. One thing I like is the high ceilings as you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see it but i like a high ceiling where i can put like a nice chandelier welcome welcome to 2543 <laughs> i don't know the street name <laughs> but come on in all right guys so this is another home this was um, on my top list, and um, as you guys can see, this one looks a little bit different. And the only thing different is the backslash, is the gray, and there's no window on the right side. But this is also a corner lot, so you get more space, and it's a little bit more pricey, like a few thousands. But um, I love this this plan. You know, I can put a nice sofa right here. Peace. <laughs>